Hey Karen, I've got a guy on my team who is always full of these uh, pretty wild ideas, but uh, I think they're somewhat doable. How do I help give him the best chance of success? Asking for a friend. Hi, I'm Karen Hurt and I'm here with our next edition of our special edition of Asking for a Friend on the Road from Vive, Switzerland. And uh, we're talking about practical tools and techniques to help your team with more courage, more ideas, and being successful. So here's the thing. One of the most important things you can do to help prepare a team member who really wants to position these ideas is help them build a network and a reputation of trust. Uh, David and I have been looking extensively at the trust research over the last couple of years, and there are really four main categories that come up. So help your team members say, are you credible? Do people think you know what you're doing? They're more likely to believe your great idea has traction and legs if you have a track record of credibility and success. Are you reliable? Are you seen as somebody who they can count on to do what you say, what you'll do? So you've got this idea and then will you follow through on that idea? Are you connected? Do people know you as a human being because connection leads to trust? And this one is really, really important. Do they think you have their best interest at heart, the company's best interest at heart, the team's best interest at heart, or is this idea self-serving? So helping to build that network of relationships can really make a difference. And then help them to think about who else would be in the room that they'd be pitching the idea to. One of the ways I like to do this is imagine all the people and the players that are sitting around the table. What will they be thinking? What will they be feeling? What questions will they have? or in your Zoom or your Microsoft Teams. So those are two specific ways you can help your team member who may have some wild ideas be successful.